All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole six here. I'm just going to bring Marlin here. Um, you should not really need a power ball for this shot. In fact, they kind of, they might kind of put you in between clubs. I'm trying to think. Uh, no, it probably shouldn't. I, I think the, the more range you have, actually kind of the better. So I might go up to a one power. Um, if I do that, I'll, I'll use a navigator. Let's just see how this looks. What I'll usually do on this is essentially no spin. That's what I usually do. Oh wow. So this fairway is can definitely has some interesting little bumps to it. Um, what I'll usually use is about zero spin. Here I'm going to just put just a little bit because it is a headwind. I want to make sure that I get to the hole. So we're at about half a bar. Um, I just want to get kind of a ballpark idea of how many to go. I usually use the max ring adjustment. So maybe two, two and a half, somewhere in there. Just make sure that, uh, you know, after, after you do this once, you should get accustomed to kind of figuring out how you want to do it. Let's take a look here. Looks like it's rolling out and just to the left. So you might want to use just a little bit more than I did. So for instance, I went very close to that two and a half adjustment for a three, which is almost um, in my situation um, with a 3.4. Uh, it's almost one per ring, maybe about 10% less than one per ring. So 2.8 maybe of put it right in the good ballpark so across all clubs you know if i was to switch this club i would be able to uh you know find equivalent um there really shouldn't be anything besides backbone in my opinion but uh you might have different level of club than i do which might change your accuracy but you know if i was to switch this you could see that switching to goliath you know it might be less rings 1.7 in this case 1.8 somewhere in there um, but you shouldn't be using Goliath. Please don't bring Goliath. Um, just bring Backbone. There's you, you need very little spin. It's better to bring the accuracy just in case you do hit a great ball. But you'll see, you know, in the general ballpark of what you need to use. And as I mentioned, you know, I always use my max adjustment uh, for that hole. So good luck there. You'll see um, very easy, very little spin. Um, just keep away from the fringe edge. You could see that where the fairway was, I was, you know, staying away from the rough by about a ring and a half, two rings before even starting my adjustment. And um, I encourage you guys to do the same. So um, good luck with that six hole and I'll see you guys seven coming up.